Spieler booth, and I'm with Matias, and we have a new game to the Avenue Spieler lineup here that has had quite a following and is uh, generating a lot of buzz here in Hanabi. Yeah. And then also we have a dice version of a well-loved classic to talk about too, but let's start with Hanabi. Yeah, let's start with this one. Uh, maybe a lot of people already know that. It was published in France first time, and I was looking for it personally on the German market right after that, but it never appeared. So we were very happy to get the license for this for the German market. And uh, we made some changes, so the cards are not square, they are normal cards. And uh, we have uh, cardboard tokens instead of, uh, instead of the plastic tokens. And uh, yeah. We, did, we also added another variant because people are always looking for the Avalanche of Colors variant. So okay. people who know the game, they want uh, if they are experienced enough, they want another challenge, so they can uh, make the game much harder by adding those cards. Maybe so. you describe a little bit what Navi is, because I know amongst the people who know, they're really excited about it. But yeah. I still think that there's not enough people out there who really yeah. know about the game. I think so. <laughs> So more of you should know about that. Uh, it's a cooperative game. If you describe the, what you must do, it sounds very simple. You have uh, five colors, and for each color you have cards from one to five, and you have to put them, uh, play them on the table from one to five. Sort of like this, solitaire, right? Yeah, this sounds pretty easy, <laughs> but all you see is the back of your cards. So, uh, and you, own, uh, you only see the cards of the other players, and you have to uh, cooperate to, to get the best uh, uh, play possible. And um, you can only say, okay, you give uh, tips, uh, you give clues about the color of the cards or about the, the numbers of the cards somebody else has. So you have to remember, okay, this card is the one maybe, you own, but you only see the back of, uh, of the card. And um, you have to think, okay, he told me that it's the one. And on another tip, he said, this card and this card is white. So I know it's a, a, a one in, uh, in white. And uh, which, this sounds all very simple, but the, what makes the game really extraordinary is the atmosphere it creates. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have these problems in, like in normal cooperative games that, uh, that one player is the leader. It's not like in here, because if you're restricted in what you can say as a clue, yes. and you're not allowed to talk uh, uh, very much else, and um, and you also have these uh, these feelings like what did he mean by telling me that this card is a two? Maybe he thinks I should play it. Maybe it's safe to play it. But if I made a mistake, we only can make three mistakes. Uh, so uh, and then everybody loses, right? Yeah, and and everybody only loses. Three mistakes. So it's about finding out in the group uh, about communication, and that's what I really like. Uh, uh, I totally agree. It's it's that how to give people partial information, but what the right little piece of information you can give them that will make them understand how they yeah. should play their hand. Right. Like you said, it sounds simple, but you get in the middle of the game and afterwards you're like, what did you mean by that? It doesn't make any sense. And that kind of conversation, you know you're on a good game when, it, when afterwards you can have that kind of fun talking back through the game. I think. Really? Yeah. And in, in whatever group you play it, if it's a group you know, or in a group you, you don't know anybody else, and it, it's always interesting to mm -hmm. find out about how people are playing. Yes. And, and as far as cooperative games go, I think it really does stand apart in the yeah. way it approaches the idea. Yeah, it's not the team. usual uh, uh, cooperative game. And I also don't think that there are also these uh, other cooperative games, like small card games, explain in five minutes yes. and uh, yes. you can just start playing so it's I think it's a, a good addition to every collection I agree and it, it also has the deductive element that a lot of it, it's interesting to combine a cooperative game with a deductive game. yeah that's not one a but it's not too much you're not uh, there's not too much memory elements no. it's just no. a bit like you should arrange your cards so you know okay the cards on, on on the right side of my hands are red I remember <laughs> that but in fact it's, it's not too much memory thing and not too much deduction it's just the right amount of deduction I agree now this game is available here at Essen and will be widely available I assume soon I we have the, the right for the German-speaking countries. Okay. I know that there will be a, a U.S. version soon, but we, it will not be our version. So oh, I'm not okay. sure about how 
that will look like. Okay. Well, but if you're in Europe, we know yeah. where, we know where to get it, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for Hanabi. Let's move on to this is from the cover. You probably would guess Zuloretto, but this is a different take on Zuloretto here. It's yeah. a dice game, right? It's a dice game, and um, this year was the year of dice games in. Uh, and in February, in the Nuremberg Toy Fair, all publishers had dice games. <laughs> um, but what I'm very happy about, it's not another Yahtzee or something like that. We didn't do the dice game just to do something for line extension, mm -hmm. but because we were uh, really um, thinking it's really a good game and stands for its own. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's a dice game version of Zuloretto, which has the feel of Zuloretto. Uh, Really, still, hmm. but um, even players that are experienced or retro players, they have something new to think, think about. So, um, you have a, a number of dice and you place them on the tracks like you are used to, but now you always roll two and you have to divide them, to divide them up, or uh, you can split them or put them on the same track. Okay. So, um, this is a, a new decision to, to split them up or yes. to keep them. And, uh, uh, a really um, a difference that is important is that if um, if you take uh, the dice from the truck, then you're out. Like, but in Zuloretto, the, the truck also goes out of the round. Mm -hmm. But here, people can go on using all trucks available, uh, even if someone is out of the round, uh, with the dice that are still available. And this is balanced by the number of dice that is still in the game. So if you're if you are going out very early and the others have a lot of dice to roll and to rearrange so they get probably what they want. Okay. But uh, if you wait for too long then all others are out and you only have two dice left to roll. So. And you're using those dice to fill up your yeah, enclosures yeah, yeah, and your zoo. You have your own enclosure and you just mark the number of animals you got. If you're the first one to fill an animal you get a bonus. But you fill up the enclosure you get a bonus. and. Uh, yeah, if you get but if you get too many of one uh, animal type, then you they have to go in the barn, uh -huh. and you get minus points. So there are a lot of elements people know from the red, They will have an easy access to the game, but it plays quicker, and it's a different experience. I was going to ask. It seems like from the the way it's structured that it would be a faster. Yeah, it's game. like 15 minutes. Wow. Like but there are tough decisions to make. So it's it's uh, the the Colorado Zuloretto feel like oh if I take it or he be, he might be interested again and and where do I put the dice? It's, right. it's really a nice game and it will be available uh, hopefully in uh, first or second quarter of uh, 2013 in English. Excellent, very cool. Now we have some bigger box games that I know you wanted to mention as well that are also available now and have been available for a little while, but. Just to remind people. Yeah, yeah, we out. have. Uh, this, this was one of the spring novelties, and we also have Africana. I just showed it. So this is the Africana box, uh, but it's also available at Z-Man. It's just a booth over there, so it's widely available all over the world, and it's also very successful in Scandinavia. Mm. This is the new Michael Schaff big board game. Um, people may recognize these three guys from the Beldora game. So it has some similarities to Baldora regarding the books. The books uh, are the wooden tiles where you go through the cards. They will return in this game. But it's, and it's also a travel game, but it has a very clever card mechanism to move over the board. Hmm. I really so you like, should check that. I love seeing right. the, that book mechanic, revisiting that, because it seemed like there was a lot of potential. Yeah. In, in using that in future games. It's a bit lighter than Baldora, so okay. it's more accessible for families and it's a very uh, unique card mechanism to move over the board and easy to understand, easy to play, good family game. Excellent. And then to round it out, we have a, what's a goodie? There's a goodie box, right? That yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, return right. to the zoo here <laughs> to end up here with a lot of goodies for uh, yeah, it's, Zuloretto. It's, it's our fifth anniversary for Zuloretto. So uh, we made a goodie box. I mean, we had the, the Rio Grande expansion packs, so most of the US customers all have uh, the, the printed, cardboard printed expansions, the mini expansions Michael made, mm -hmm. but they were not available in, on the German market or on other markets. So we made that goodie box. It's five, five of the mini expansions are included here, 
and it has enough space to, to store all your mini expansions. And um, yeah, one new expansion is uh, expansions included here, oh, nice. but it will be available after the fair also on Board Game Geek. So everybody who wants one can get uh, can get, can one. get one. And uh, we have a new uh, promo that's Zulu Red Chameleon. So. <laughs> a lot of Colorado uh, Zulu retro stuff this year. Plenty, yeah. plenty of things to fill the box up with. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> uh, there are more to come, I guess. Yeah. Excellent. And we have another promo for airlines. So we are still doing stuff for airlines. There, Alan has a lot of ideas for this game. And um, yeah, it's called Presidents, also available at, uh, at the Board Game Geek Store. So people should look there for that one. Or you can come here to our booth to get it for free. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, before we leave you here, are there any uh, games on the, uh, in the near horizon, say for Nuremberg, that you can tease us about? Some upcoming titles or releases that uh, might be coming yeah. soon? Yeah, we, we have a, a small card game that we are very enthusiastic about right now. Uh, it's about mice and cheese. It's a theme that, <laughs> that, that, that is very well known, but it really is a game, a small dice card game about Avoiding traps, getting cheese, and it's really uh, the, the top filler right now at our gaming events, and, and I really like that. I'm looking forward to that one. Excellent. Uh, there's always room in the world for more of those quick card games like that. Yes. I think there's a lot of people who would agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> we also have another uh, 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 a new project for us. We never did an, a dexterity game. At least for, for a long time, we, we don't, didn't have an, a dexterity game, huh. and it's um, the theme is very funny, so I really like that. It's about the dustbin. Nobody wants to bring out the dustbin, so you everybody stacks all the uh, the trash until it's full and going overflow, overflowing. And so when when it crashes, that one has to bring out the dust, which means you get minus points. So it's a, a nice combination of a quick card game with a dexterity element. Very fun. I'm looking forward to that one. That sounds fun. And those will probably be around Nuremberg time? Yeah, release? hopefully. This is uh, scheduled for Nuremberg. And uh, yeah, from SM to Nuremberg, it's, it's just a few months. But It's uh, always kind of a race, I bet, to get everything yeah. lined up and released on no, time. But after the fair is before the fair. <laughs> I don't know if you say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Matthias, for your time. We always enjoy talking to you, and uh, thank you. Best of, luck. best of luck here at the show. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Bye bye.